Hey guys! Hey guys! Herrenstein Bear here, and I'm here today to help uh, anybody who needs it f unlock the Baladin. Uh, to do so, you need 100 ball work at the end of your turn, and uh, for a while I thought that this was uh, not the best buff that they added in this uh, in this new one. I really like the pollution, uh, and I wasn't a big fan of this ball work, but uh, from what you'll see in this video, it gets pretty nuts. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, I started out, uh, tried several times, and as you could see, failed several times. Uh, but, after a lot of struggle, and uh, trying to record this for you guys so you could see uh, me get this achievement, I finally did it. I unlocked the ball of them. But at this point, I had uh, been wearing my sanity pretty thin and spaced out and set OBS wrong. Had no usable footage, really. All I had was this. Wasn't going to let a little setback like that stop me, though. So I fixed the settings, jumped back in to take on the face wall. Thought I was doing good at first, but, well, you can watch the footage and see what happens. Apparently, I just didn't have the DPS for that fight. I was disappointed. I'd unlock Baladin, but how would I show the fine people of YouTube how I did it and teach them how to do it for themselves? But then I devised a plan. New run, custom orbs and relics to match what I had lost to the face. Jump to Act 3. Uh, level up all our orbs to level 3. You can see this is what we ended with. Got a level 3 Forbification. This orb will apply a shield to each peg on uh, after 3 peg hits. And every time it applies a shield, it gives you one ball work. Next up, we have the Protect Orb. Deals no damage, so be careful that you don't add too many of these to your deck because it can really affect your DPS as you saw against that face. But it also adds one ball work for every three pegs hit. So it can get kind of kind of silly. Buckle Orb here gives a ball work for every six pegs hit. Does pretty average damage. Uh, about the same as a level three stone or sorb. Uh, don't quote me on that. I could be off a little bit. But it's pretty average damage I would say. Uh, but it pulled its weight. Uh, the Warp Hammer here was just for DPS and cleaning, it, cleaning up those pesky shields that the Forbification leaves behind. Uh, really was just solving the issue that I had in the last run. Uh, while I did have Warp Hammer in the last run, it didn't really come in too handy. Uh, for the Relics, uh, I'm not saying these are this is a definitive list and this is the only way you can get it. There are a couple in here that I think make it way easier to get it, uh, but most, a lot of these are just kind of quality of life, you know, keep you from pulling your hair out. Uh, so first up we have the pumpkin pie. That gives you uh, one of the spots down below for the, where the peg can fall can be, uh, will teleport the peg back up to the top. So when you're using that forbification and hoping to hit as many pegs as possible, getting those extra chances to trickle down through the pegs is always fun. Uh, next up, we have Essential Oil, and this is one of the relics that I'd consider, well, essential. Uh, each time you uh, get ball work, Essential Oil gives you one extra ball work. So, essentially, kind of doubling the effectiveness of all of your orbs. Uh, this next one, I think, probably made my run. Uh, if you're trying to unlock Baladin, this is the relic to search for. I think it is rare, so it's hard to find, uh, but Ball Peam Hammer synergizes perfectly with Forbification. Every time you create a sh shield peg, which Forbification does, uh, you get five ball work. Add that up with Essential Oil, that's six. Add the one you already get for forb Forbification, that's seven. Now you're getting seven ball work for every three orbs you hit, and it builds fast, you'll see. Uh, next up, we have the Nightcap. This is, again, just kind of a nice-to-have. 
Uh, it gives you a little bit of health if you finish the fight with leftover ball work, which you probably will. Uh, but to be honest, it didn't really proc that often for me because most of the time the ball work kept me from taking damage to begin with. Uh, this last one I got towards the end of the run, Gift That Keeps On Giving. Uh, it really helped out a lot, making each peg take three pegs to destroy, or three hits to destroy instead of one. Uh, and just again, essentially making more pegs for you to hit and trigger more times to gain more ball work. Uh, Ambidextionary is another really nice to have relic. Um, I would suggest this if you didn't have the chance to remove all your stones. Uh, or you have some other junk in your in your bag that you'd like to get rid of. Uh, but one really broken relic that I really had fun with on this run uh, is the Repostal Service, or Repostal Service. Uh, so each time you're attacked, you deal damage to the enemy who attacked you equal to your ball work level. So when you're stacking up 500 levels of ball work on an enemy, all of a sudden they hit you for 20 and you're dealing 500 back and that 20 was absorbed by your ball work anyway so you didn't take any damage. Uh, you're at that point screaming for them, come hit me, come after me, you know. Um, so that, yeah, that one was a lot of fun. Uh, you can see uh, with the build in action that just in this first fight, first orb out, 130 stacks of ball work. There's your achievement right there. I mean, use the warp hammer to clean up the mess at the end, but easy peasy. Uh, here, flip the order. Warp hammer goes first, forbification comes in, just loses its mind. Loses its damn mind. Keeps going, going, and going. It's, it's still going. Yeah, it, it's insane. This, this build is nuts. Uh, and you can see here, uh, how deadly the Repostal service can be uh, as this guy comes up and tries to tries to smack me and realizes he should go home. The Peglin mini boss went down without too much trouble, but credit where credit is due, and he did more damage to me than any other boss. Also, can I say his death animation? So relatable. Same Peglin mini boss, same. All I had left was the dragon before me. It's at the end of the, my run but I couldn't bring myself to fight it. I hadn't earned this victory. I wouldn't get the achievement if I beat him in this custom game mode. The face wall had stolen my opportunity from me. But I vow I will face that dragon someday. When I do, it will be glorious. I'll probably get eaten. Anyway, guys, I hope this was able to help you out. Uh, help you learn the best way or learn some new ways to unlock the Baladin or even just some cool tips and tricks for a bulwark or ball work build. Uh, I know I had fun making this video and uh, been loving playing Peglin. Uh, about the same time this video comes out, there should be a video of me uh, playing the new Baladin class, trying it out for the first time. So go ahead and check that out. I'll try and put a, a link down in the description below. Uh, if you're liking these videos, go ahead and hit the like button uh, or comment. Let me know if I'm doing anything bad, if it looks bad, sounds bad, whatever. I'm still new to all this, so uh, any any little bit of insight goes a long way. So uh, uh, this is Herrenstein Bear saying hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.